This video is going to show you how to remove the fuel injectors from the Kubota three-cylinder diesel engine. Uh, I'm using a 17 millimeter wrench to loosen the nuts on the top of the fuel injectors on the fuel rail. Uh, I go ahead and loosen those and roll them back up over the fuel rail and then I proceed to take the nut off below that which holds the fuel rail on. As you can see I'm pointing it to them right here. All I do is I take the nut off and I put it on the fuel rail to keep it secure. There's three of them. This is after I remove them and the fuel rail is loose now. I had to remove this vacuum line so it's over top of the fuel rail. I removed that and allowed easier access to removing the fuel rail. I had to actually crack the lines uh, down by the fuel pump to move these lines around a little bit. Uh, I was unable to get the fuel lines out of the way so I just used a 11 16 wrench and cracked them loose. I ended up taking them completely off so it made a little bit easier access to it. As you can see I was using 11 16 wrench. These were on there a little tight I had to work pretty hard to get those off but here I pull the fuel rail out of the way. Allows me a little bit more room to move around than here. This is a lot easier when you have two hands. I was working with one hand uh, so I couldn't take it off pretty easy. But after getting this off here there's crush washers on the top. You don't want to lose those. You'll take the very bottom there use a wrench to remove that. I think it was a 22 millimeter socket. I was able to pull them out and put them on the workbench for cleaning. Here's what it looks like after I removed the fuel injectors from the block. I proceeded to break these down, uh, took them apart, cleaned them, made sure there's no dirt. The number three cylinder had a lot of buildup on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this picture shows uh, the inside of one of these fuel injectors here. You have the needle, the spring, the seat. That all goes in the lower half and then the top half screws into it. All I did was take it apart, clean it, make sure there was no uh, foreign material in there and no oil buildup. Reinstallation is the same. Uh, put the fuel injectors in their spot, torque them down, don't tighten them too much. Uh, I can't remember the specs right off of hand, I'll have to look those up for you. Um, put the fuel rail back over the top of these, make sure your crush washers are on there. Uh, make sure to go underneath of that vacuum line there. Take your fuel rail system put it right back on. Leave the bottom nuts loose. Sometimes it's easier to work from the top down. And uh, from left to right, you want to start from the far right. Do the right one, the middle one, then the left one. It's a lot easier with the wrench. Um, you're able to actually get in there and move it. I did the backwards here, which I found out was easier to do it the other way around. Thank you for watching and check out my other videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can.